Here's my test subjects, ready to go. My sacrificial hives. My sacrificial back. At the university research yard with my oldest daughter who should be in class right now <laughs> as she's learning to be a nurse, helping me do the grunt work on sampling these beehives for resistant mites. Is that it? One more. One more. my four test hives and I'm getting four separate Apivar resistance tests done on these. These all shook pretty high for me. And you know, I thought wash, rinse, repeat. I'll try another one. And I'm also going to have Carrie come through and vaporize these four colonies. I have them up on screen bottom board this time. Um, we're going to have to block them off a little bit better just to make sure the oxalic stays in the box. But uh, the screen bottom board will totally remove the bees from those stickies. These colonies are, they've been sampled how many times now? Six, seven times I've gone through and sampled these colonies. Uh, through my own testing and through the tech transfer testing and now this testing. Just to try to get a read on what's going on. So these are... These are a sacrifice. As I find my mite counts and information related to it. Eventually I'm going to run out of bees and I'm going to run out of mites. Wash, rinse, repeat. This, uh, all these inconsistencies have kind of brought a little bit of my out in me. And I'm trying my hardest to stay away and just not cause more issues by digging and digging and digging and digging. So that's where I've dedicated all my efforts towards uh, the four colonies I found was crashing on me. Those four that I pulled out uh, it was testing one to 16, tested one in five or eight, one at 12 and one at over 20. And now with my, just my shake I did yesterday, showing a four, and that was consistent with another shake I did previously, which is kind of giving me a head scratcher. But digging through them, and at the tech, when we were taking our samples for the tech transfer program, we took every frame out, shook it into like a, a nuke box. So all the bees were all together. So there was no uh, di dis distinguished amount of mite counts between frames themselves. They're all together. So it all was from a pooled sample. But doing that, we shook bees off of frames of brood, one and a half frames of brood earlier when I took my initial samples of, which read a high count there wasn't the capped brood in there but there's open brood I think what's going on here is just a migration of mites and I bet you there was a hatch of brood and that's when I took my sampling 
And then all that open brood in there, capped over before capped over, there's a migration of mites back in. And that is probably leading to my inconsistencies. I'm finding the colonies that are sick with mites are the ones that are brooding, oddly enough. The ones that seem to be holding a mite count below that 1% or zero seem to be holding themselves heavy and completely backfilled with no brood. So that seems to be a little bit of a trend there. So with my resistance testing that I've been doing, uh, the first one that went through sampled at 6% mite load and I did something wrong. I think I put too much product in there, it killed everything. Then I proceeded with two other tests. My second one, I sampled 300 bees and it was only a 1.3% infestation. So it wasn't, it didn't meet the threshold for a resistance test, but for the mites that are in there, looking at a 95% efficacy on that. And my most recent test here, uh, it was a 625B sample and it registered in at a, like a 3.4% infestation. So I'm looking at 85% efficacy on that one. So that is telling me the Apivar is still working, but at a reduced efficacy. This will make 25 or 26 yards all back in my central holding yard. And then I have another 12 or so that are out but close to home yet. So that is good for my workload. I'm gonna do, we're looking at a forecast ahead of us next five days anyways in the mid to upper teens. That's gonna provide the opportunity for the bees to get up and fly. So I'm going to set up, they've cleaned up the syrup I set out earlier, so I'm going to set out just a little bit more syrup just to keep them busy, just to fill that brood nest up as it, you know, as it opens up. Try just to maintain a broodless state and you know, see if we can achieve that. So that's double-edged sword though, a strike one, strike two. Right now, if I'm looking at a bit of a mite situation going on, Moving everything to a holding yard where I have, you know, 1200 hives all flying together. It's going to open up the opportunity for drift. That's a big negative. If there's any mite bombs within the yard itself, it's just going to expose everything to those mites with potential robbing and drift. And if I'm seeing any resistant type issues, and just spread it out amongst everything, right? So how is that good for anything? Also with my open feeding, it's providing the opportunity for the bees to get feed in, but it's also mingling the bees within the yard. So it just increases the drift and the mite transmission. I think we would have been better off just to be able to get these bees inside. This last week was cooler and protect them from this warmth at the end of October. That's a real odd thing to say. Never thought I'd justify refrigeration in a shed this time of year to allow me to shut them down, to hold them tight, and you know just prevent that exposure from all that risk. I 
put so much attention towards setting up these winter nests properly, this might be the next logical step. Not only will it help me get my hives in in a timely manner and I don't have to battle the snow drifts, but it also protect the hives where, you know, middle of October, they're set up. They don't really, I always figured they needed cleansing flights at the end there, but it looks like the way I look at it, it's the exposure to the risk of the pest it will far outweighs that late, late fall cleansing flight. So get them away, tucked away in good time, not worry about these late fall warm spells, shut them down. Man, I wonder if I can justify that to my brothers.